Hey guys, it's Corey B. I've got my DJI Osmo Pocket clamped to the top of my monitor right here, so if this is a weird angle, let me know. And today I'm going to make a super quick tutorial on how to set up your thumb drive um, in order to plug it into your second player port on your PlayStation Classic and play ROMs. Tomorrow and the next day I'll get into depth uh, on fixing your ROMs if you have problems with them. Uh, so let's go. I'm going to start the screen record on my computer now. And what you're going to need to get first, and I'll link it in the comments below, is BleemSync. Uh, when you download BleemSync, it'll come in a zip file, and when you unzip it, this is what you get right here. This is the BleemSync 0.4.1 Win 7x86. Um, and these are the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 folders that come inside of it. The only thing we're going to do is the BleemSync right here. We're going to run this exe later and we're going to set up our games folder in each folder that you set up one and two will eventually be our games and then we'll make more we'll do like three four five six but inside that you'll need one folder called game data just like this capital g capital d and then if you open that up um, these are just their demo files they put inside so i'm going to delete those um, what we're going to need to put in each folder is our bin and our q file so i'm going to delete these two um, so this is what you want. You want a number folder and then a game data. So what I'm going to do here is copy this probably, I don't know, a bunch more times. And then I'm going to rename four, five, six. I'm not sure how many games I was going to put in. Seven, eight. Let's start with eight. So um, next you're going to need to get some ROMs. Right now I'm just going to assume you have the bin and the Q file. If you do make the bin, um, which is kind of like an ISO of the game, um, I'll show you how to make the Q file later. The Q file is really little and easy to make, but I'll get into that in the second video. If you got it from this zip, what you just need to do is open the 7Z and you open up that Arc the Lad and you notice there's a bin and a Q inside. So you open up our game data folder and drop that in there. And it's going to unzip that. This this 7-zip is like a free version of WinZip or a new version of WinZip, I don't know. And once it's all done, we can close this. We've got our bin and our queue, and that's the only thing we're worried about right now. So I'm just going to go in alphabetical order to make sure I don't duplicate any right here. So I already unzipped these, so I'm just going to throw this bin and well, let's copy them. I'm just going to throw the bin and Q over there, and then we're going to do the next for this one. And I, you know, I guess I could be uh, dra dragging the folder over there and then renaming it to Game Data. That might work for also. However, you want to do it really, as long as you do a number folder and then Game Data, and then have your bin and your queue. Um, so this one that has a bin file, I'm going to get to this in the next video, how to make a queue for that. It's real easy, but I'm trying to make this video fast today. So this one has two bin files and one queue. And so check back in the next video. I'll show you how to combine those two bin files because that's important. If it has multiple bin files, you will not be able to throw both of the bin files in there. You got to combine them. So we've got 11 games now and each one should be a bin and a queue. looks good. Now, in order to play them, we need to add a few more files. And the easiest way to do that is to go back to the BleemSync folder, and we're going to run that BleemSync exe. So we're just going to run that. Okay, so it made a .png file, and it made a game INI file um, for those. So, the only, the only two I didn't make was the first ones here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these uh, .png and that game.ini. I'm going to copy them. We're going to go back to this first folder and throw it in here. Now what we're going to need to do is change the, you know, the title, the, the name of the ping folder here, ping file. Um, but it's showing the wrong... Uh, graphic here for that, so we want to update the graphic too. So, so what I want is Arc the Lad Japan. I want a picture of that to use.
There we go. We got 250 by 250 now. Let's save that. Save as ping, and we're going to save it into game data one, arc the lad. Yep, that's exactly what we want to save as. Okay. This one looks square, so let's just do 250 by 250 right on this. Yeah. Fix it. There we go. Okay. So now we got our game I and I. So we need to uh, open this. So I'm going to go edit with. Oh, there we go. And we want to change the title. And I don't even know. It's a publisher. Single player, multiplayer. Okay, so it had two players, so we'll do that. Here's the original Arc the Lab, this is 1995. Really nice when that info uh, auto-generates when you run Bleem Sync, but on this case, two of them didn't auto-populate. So we've got them fixed now. We've got the picture fixed and we've got the game info fixed. And if everything else is showing up correctly, if Bleem Sync did its job and fixed all those, we're ready to go. All you gotta do is copy this onto the thumb drive now. Grab all this and drag it to the thumb drive. The thumb drive has to be formatted FAT32, uh, which it was when I bought it, most of them are. Um, I'm just gonna delete the games folder here, and I'm gonna drag in the new games folder because that's the only thing I've changed from last time. Otherwise, you just drag everything right over to your thumb drive. And we're going to put it in the player two slot of the PlayStation Classic. We're gonna go plug it in. So when this power's on, that power light should blink, and there it is. Green and orange, blinking green and orange, so it should be working. Let's see what this looks like here. And it does take a little bit longer to boot up. I don't know if that boot time is reduced the second time you launch this, but we'll see here. And there it's working. Let's try Grady's Guide and make sure it worked here. When I modded the PlayStation Classic, the first time I just put three games on there and I was having trouble getting the controllers to work right away and I turned it off and rebooted it and then they worked. Um, so just an FYI. So I'm pushing the start button right now, nothing's happening. I might have to reboot this and see if it works. Pushing the start button, nothing's happening. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset it here. And we're going to go back to Gradius Gaiden. And I'm pushing the start button now, and it's skipping all the intro video, so now it's working. And I push the start button again. Looks, looks like it's working now. Perfect. Well, I would say that's fairly successful for my second run out. Um, just throw the bin and the Q files in there, run Bleem Sync, make sure it makes those extra two files, um, that picture file and that game info file. And once you got that for every one of them, just throw it on the thumb drive, let it rip. Not quite sure why I'm having trouble with the controller the first time, but when I reboot after I've entered the game, uh, the controller has been working the second time. Um, so I'm gonna try to fix that in the future. The next two videos that I make are going to be combining the bin files and making the Q file, if that's what you're missing. And then I'm going to start working on some emulating some other NES, Super NES, Genesis, stuff like that, MAME. 
Um, it's a cool little machine. I'm glad that I got it. And if it's still $60 when you're watching this video, I would say go out and get it. It's well worth it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Yeah.